I hope everyone's having a fantastic weekend. We've been blasting out content like crazy. I want to keep it going on a Sunday. Rapid fire, give you a few names on my watch list going into next week. Now, the first one is going to be Sidar, ticker CDTX. We've been all over this for about two to three weeks now. $240 million pipe at 14 and change. They have some really interesting players. A buyout of the drug from Johnson & Johnson, CD388, for $85 million. Remember, that's more than the current market cap. So they made a purchase or an acquisition for a fundamental improvement of the company that is valued more than the market cap currently. This is insane. I think we're seeing massive accumulation here, whether there's a seller in place or, you know, just natural overreaction and cooling off. I don't know what it is specifically, but the volume has been fantastic, way above that three month average, even after the conversion. Um, I think this is a monster brewing. All the analyst upgrades, 25 to $30 price target pretty much seems to be the average. So that is what I'm expecting minimum. But right now, just in terms of net cash per share, I have about $58. This is insanely undervalued in my opinion. And my top stock on my watch list going into next week, I believe it's like a four and a half million float. This thing could move any positive news with earnings and the update on phase 2B could send this thing flying. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're someone that holds this stock or an investor in biotechs, what do you think about Sidara? Very, very exciting stuff. The next stock is CRDL. We put out a really solid update video there, giving it a $9 price target from HC Wainwright. Fundamentals are great. $36 million cash, zero debt on the books, over $120 million market cap. This stock looks fantastic technically. Higher highs, higher lows, looking to snap that 52-week high that's sitting right at 217. Again, called this out at 98 cents, holding very well uh, from that entry point a few months back. And then when we zoom all the way out, we really see the range here i mean this thing looks awesome you know it can go all the way up to four or five dollars looks very very similar to chromadex stock which we'll talk about in a moment but also we want to pay attention to the gap fill here okay it could be very very interesting in this range uh, so definitely one you want to keep on watch crdl looks ready to go would not shock me if this gets to 240 250 very very quick Next is Chromadex, like we just mentioned, a monster call out here at 160. This ran all the way up to almost $5, 190% gain, and where it closed on Friday here, still up 115%. The stock never went red from where we called it out, had a really nice breakout and retest of that two-year resistance. As you could see, if we zoom all the way out, this arrow here was resistance, right? We never traded above here going all the way back to March of 20. 2022. Now, over two years later, we finally break that resistance, come back, retest it now as support, and is looking to take the next leg up. I think institutions and smart money has been all over this stock. Lots of volume, lots of attention, very, very strong fundamentals. We saw the revenues and guidance from the last report was fantastic. Trading at 1x revenues made no sense at all. 20 to 30 million cash, no debt, 100 million plus in the R&D of their product. I keep repeating these credentials here because they're just amazing and make sense and the stock is holding beautifully so another one you want to keep on watch again when we go on the monthly here you see how incredible this looks and historically we've seen that average range going all the way back somewhere around six bucks so it would not shock me in the least bit if chromadex starts to melt up take that next leg especially going into the next earnings call are we going to see more improvements again so much here definitely one you want to keep on watch ticker cdxc Next is Viri. Short and simple here. Nothing has really changed in terms of my sentiment. I'm waiting for an update from the company to see how they're going to move forward. It's been over a year. I'd like to hear what their plans are. Is there going to be a merger, a partnership, a buyout, something that's going to form a catalyst uh, to get this thing moving? And really, when I look at this macro trend line, we see a lot of respect to it, right? Sort of rejecting off of this range multiple times. So we're looking for that break. Had a really nice sequence here. Very, very strong close on Friday. So very possible that can continue going into next week. But overall, the volume has been very low. I haven't been able to accumulate much because it hasn't gone below my average. My account's been green. It's holding very strong, consolidating well. And anytime it drops, it's either a quick market sell and it gets absorbed right back up. Again, like I said, very hard to get filled, which is typically a good sign. Even though the market space is low in volume, there is still strong demand on the buy side. People are trying to accumulate for cheap. And that over time, I believe 
will end up pushing the market price higher pending some good news. So one you definitely want to keep on watch, but the story hasn't changed. We're just waiting for an update from the company. I know I've been a little quiet about it because not much has really happened, but looks great. It's holding well. It's all we could really ask for on Virios. Next is AMIX Autonomics. I've been telling everyone time and time again, just be patient here. Take everything they're willing to sell you. 270, 260, 250. That is the time to accumulate. And if you did that and you listened, you have a great value. Now it's starting to curl. Now it's starting to get that momentum. All we need is an update on the human trials. I think if it's positive, if we get a really good PR, this thing is going to take off. There's a lot of good and real fundamentals here. It's just a slower burner play, right? It only trades 40,000 shares a day. It's very low in terms of volume. You have to be patient here, but I definitely think this is going to be a winner long term. Ticker AMIX, definitely one you want to keep on watch. Really like that daily close and especially the way we ended the week. Next is ticker VTGN, Vistagen. I really like this setup. I think it's just pretty much staying flat for a couple months. It's a stock that has great fundamentals. I really, really like the book value here. I think one of the strongest companies I've seen in a while in terms of those balance sheets, really, really nice. Um, so definitely one that I think is going to catch the eyes of Wall Street and smart money uh, for the ability to trade this up. Has a lot of range. Keeps improving fundamentally. A lot of cash. They could do a lot of moves. Be very strategic with this. I have no idea what's in store, but a lot of these biotechs have been blasting out news. We're going into tech earnings next week. It's going to be a massive opportunity, very active. So it wouldn't shock me if a lot of these names we're talking about gives us more updates and, again, continues to see some nice price action. We have the ranges which we want to trade above, 545, 575, our point of significance. It's been a while since we traded above there, pretty much going back to September. So that's the range I'm looking for. Again, between 440 and 460 is the ideal range in which we want to buy or where we've seen a lot of demand, you know, at least going back to the beginning of the year. So overall, looks great. Ton of good stocks on our watches. And of course, these names could change rapidly. So if you have any suggestions, anything that I should be following, let me know in the comments section below. I love to look at new names. Only give me A1 setups. I don't want to look at something that's all speculative. Give me something real, something that's going to move, and I'll love to take a look at it. Okay, besides that, any questions, you let me know. If you don't mind, just smash that like button, click and subscribe, sharing this video. I would greatly appreciate it. Have a fantastic night, and as always, we'll see you in the next one.